Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! and yellow and... He's grooving, man. If nautical nonsense be something you wish... I love it. Hi, everybody, and welcome to First 20 here on Stephen Plays. My name is Stephen George. I play video games, and every Friday, it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, we are taking a look, courtesy of a free copy via the publisher, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I never played this. This is a game that originally came out for um, uh, GameCube, PS2, and Xbox? Probably? It's several console generations back. Apparently, of all of the SpongeBob games that came out, this one was the one that people really, really loved. And uh, they remade it. Or they rehydrated it. So uh, I got contacted a while back and asked if I wanted to uh, try it out. And I was like, yeah, send it over. I want to I wanna, I wanna play it. So um, again, shout out to the publisher for sending over a copy of that. The other, The other thing that's new, in addition to the fact that it's I mean, widescreen and has the graphics now, um, is that there's a multiplayer mode, which is... A, they From the press stuff I read, it's a horde mode? I don't know what that means. You can't play, like, the normal campaign with two, two players. But there's, like, a horde mode. I don't know what that means, so we're just going to jump into uh, the single-player campaign and find out what this is all about. Now, I, um... You know, I grew up watching Welcome SpongeBob. To Bikini Bottom. A so I should recognize some stuff. Sea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? Oh no, you said it to don't oh, obey. No, 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 wait, wait. But I'm your master. I made you. No, no. Oh, my good China. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. Bye, I, 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 I. It's not just any shell, it's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The 
next melding. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do that? So a couple of things. First off, um, the... Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. The, uh, the, the quality of everything is like... It's weird because I'm like, man, I'm playing a SpongeBob game in 2020 and the game, the game looks pretty good. Uh, the... Strangely, because I saw some people in chat asking about it, the audio is desynced in the cutscenes. Like, that's not a stream thing, that's... Strangely, the audio the audio for the cutscenes is not synced up with the cutscenes. Which is a little weird. Anyway... No. Because they have all of the, you know, the actual voice uh, actors doing the... the work here... What a fantastic idea! It feels like you're playing These an episode. signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? Okay, press this button to read the signs. Mm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. It looks like only the cutscenes were desynced too, because now the gameplay looks fine. Yeah. Explore the kitchen! Explore the bedroom! Explore the attic! Explore the closet! This is wild. <laughs> so I never played this game. Um, I, as far as I can remember, I've never played any SpongeBob games. Uh, I was watching, I was watching the show when it first aired, uh, and certainly for a long time after that. I think it's a, a great example of a show that has had big appeal. You know, like not only to to kids but also to adults. So even as I got older, it was still funny. These are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along his quest. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete this quest to defeat the robot menace. There are five different colors. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red's the most common and least valuable. Purple's the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or in dangerous places. So there are collectibles. Okay. So this is a pretty... I mean, this also came out in the GameCube era, so like... 3D platformers were a big thing. And you can double jump. You didn't even know you needed this, did you? Okay, let's move on to the next room. SpongeBob may see how well he is doing by pressing the right trigger. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas. And the number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. Finally, the number in the lower left, or upper left, is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. Okay. I think I think actually one of the the most interesting things, and probably would have been really cool for me as a kid, um, is just getting a chance to explore SpongeBob's home. You know, having uh, having seen the show. Watch the show as a kid. You can stand on this too. I always enjoyed that about licensed games is getting a chance to just freely walk around. Okay, so we're make myself a snack. But there's no time. SpongeBob has Gex syndrome. <laughs> Pay ten shiny objects to access more parts of my own home? Yeah. And there's a lot of, like, moments from episodes just on the wall. Alright, let's read this. SpongeBob may jump by pressing A. You can also double jump. Uh, SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. Is that not understood from just double jump? <laughs> if you can double jump, then... <laughs> You can, you can only, you can only double jump, you can't triple jump. Oh, I have plenty of underwear, well thank god. This is a pair of Spongebob's underwear. Regretfully so. 
SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this. Once SpongeBob has lost all of his underwear, he must start that area back over again. SpongeBob may get underwear back he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. Starts out with three. There are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which have found will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three. I like how canonically this is he is wearing three pairs of underwear simultaneously. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has by right trigger. So this brings up the HUD. I feel like a new sponge. <laughs> I'm wearing three pairs of underwear actively. So this is the attic, which we got to by walking in a door and not going up any stairs. It shines. So there's a few things to read in here. Press X and SpongeBob will do a bubble spin. You can use bubble spin to smash open tiki's or push buttons in, uh, on walls or defeat most robots. You can also bubble spin in midair to hit things that are higher up. So this or this, yeah. Press B in midair and SpongeBob will do a bubble bounce attack. Bubble bounce can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below SpongeBob or push, push buttons on the ground. You can only do it in midair. Sure, okay. Press Y on the ground, and SpongeBob will do a bubble bash attack. It can smash Tiki's or robots or push buttons that are directly above him. When you see this icon, SpongeBob can stand on it and do the bubble bash attack to break Tiki's directly above him. Which is this. And then finally, see how well SpongeBob is doing in every level of the game. Press Start. Yeah, Start. When paused, move the stick to select a level. When the level is selected, press A to view its details, etc. Get the golden spatulas. You can get a hint. Take a taxi. All right. So let's see here. So I need to hit this, which gives me these. They had to show me a cutscene for the thing I'm standing next to. <laughs> but sure, okay. Is there anything else like hidden up here? No, I guess not. I can also destroy these. Combo. Mega combo. Super mega combo. Let's hit this as well, which brings this down. Has a little trampoline in it. Appreciate it. Hit that. Hit that. Physics, baby! Let's see. Can I stand on these? They don't want me to. I think they want me to... Do they want me to use this? Oh my god, I don't have much time. Oh god. Wait, how do I... How do I get up there? Oh, hold on. Am I supposed to... Oh, I see. Gosh darn it. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Don't buzz at me. I can figure out this children's game, doggone it. There we go. There we go. Patrick will be glad to have this back. One dirty sock. And I think we're done in this room. Tutorial Maybe over, baby. I got it. I... I know exactly what I'm doing now. But I need a golden spatula to go through there, and I don't have any golden spatulas, but I do have 50 of these. This is where I keep it, apparently. So, one of the cool things about remastering a game like this is that all of the audio is, is fine. Like, even though games from 15 or 20 years ago may not look great, the, uh, you know, the audio, all the audio work that's done is fine. So as long as you have all of that original audio, you can... <laughs> I make myself a snack, but there's no time! He doesn't even move his mouth when he says that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I did it. I did it. Which is also a reference. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, 
away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. Surprisingly, the, the lip sync's actually very good. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Like, all of the facial expressions and everything is spot on from the show. This is the same reason that people really love the uh, the South Park video games that have come out in the last few years, is because it feels like you're playing an episode, and so does this. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help! But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas! In your dreams. You've got a deal! Okay. So this is... Those hurt! Okay. What is this? There's a... There's a bomb just chilling here. Okay. I can't interact with that. Oh, sparkly! Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. It's Bubble Buddy from the show. Bubble Buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it out! I mean, I learned that in the tutorial. But, but thanks! I love opening presents. These things hide. Is this out? Got him. <laughs> All right, so... Oh, Mr. Krabs is just standing outside of my home for some reason. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. That is not Mr. Krabs' voice. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Everything else has been spot on. Everything else has been the original the original person. But I'm like, that... That doesn't sound like Mr. Krabs. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Okay. I so desperately want to go into Squidward's home. Please. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning. And now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. <laughs> Squidward, Squidward is the best character in SpongeBob SquarePants. The older you get, the more you go, man, I really like Squidward. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. What lamp am I looking at? What? Let me get up here. Oh, that's... That's okay, beautiful. Okay, okay, Just stop jumping, will you? <laughs> if you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? 
see, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Mm. Don't touch me. We got another spatula. You painting something? Can I ruin this? I can destroy it. I can literally destroy everything in your home. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun. Alright, so I guess I'm leaving now. It's been great talking to you. Oh man, you can... You can just beat Squidward up in his own home. Shouldn't he have his, like, door locked? Oh, hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Also, what a camera angle. Whoosh. 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 Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. My first thought was, can I, can I see Patrick's house? But I guess not. So that's asking too much. Oh, hold on, a button. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Look at this. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, no. Or can I just do this? Oh, God. All right, hold on. There is plenty of time. I can do this. There is not... Okay. Cool. Got there. I was trying to get this thing. Oh, I miscalculated that. It's fine. It's, pro <laughs> it's probably fine. So I can just, like, wander around and see... There's probably something that'll it'll let me in with a small amount. Pretty. Can't take it. So that is it. Oh! That's how they handle out of bounds! Oh, that's cute! That is very cute. Oh, wait, hold on. I could enter the house. Oh, I can go in the house. Sorry, this is very important. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. No, we're buddies, and there's there's not anything else in in Patrick's home, like not a th <laughs> not a thing. Chad is saying that the name of the hand is Hans. Real? I didn't know it had a name. All right. Uh, so let's see. I only have three spatulas. So there's got to be something that lets me in. I have no problem getting these little things. Can I take this one? Jellyfish Fields. Let's go, let's go see Jellyfish Fields quick. I want to see what this is like. The rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Ow! 
Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy and, oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here. Bald up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish <laughs> jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Man, this this is actually pretty great. I feel I feel kind of sad that I missed out on this when I was younger. Like, aside from Mr. Krabs, all of the, the voice cast seems to be here, including the narrator, which like sets the scene. And again, licensed content like this feels best when it, it it just seems like you're playing an episode. And that's that's what this feels like. Man, again, I'm sad that I missed out on it, but uh, you know the, the nice thing is there's probably others like me who they they watched SpongeBob, they remember SpongeBob. And again, all of the references and stuff from this um unless I guess they updated some things are going to be... Can I get that still? I can. Uh, are going to be from, you know, the game as it was, you know, many years ago. This is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, you can teleport between them by jumping inside. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, hold on, some undies. Jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. I feel like a new sponge. <laughs> and like this environment is really cool too. Obviously they they can't play around as much with uh, some of the characters homes and things because there's you know it's established like what some of these things have to to look like but they can take some liberties with the actual levels. And it is it is a collectathon, you know, it's from that era of games so there's going to be a lot of things to try and uh, collect. But uh, a lot of people from, you know, from my generation always really liked those games anyway. Excuse me, robot. Jumping over here to see what this is all about. Oh no. Oh no, I missed out on my opportunity to get that. Oh, look at this! Give me all these things. Can I trust this? Fish paste. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> he just flipped upside down and flatlined. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Whoops. My god. Um, okay, I think I'm I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, oh, look, his little idol animation. This game is cute, and I, I think even if you missed out, I mean, certainly if you, if you played it, you'd probably love to get the chance to play it again with it looking beautiful, but even if you missed out, it might be fun to return to, especially if you grew up with the show like I did. Wonderful. This is out on uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, as well as PC. I'm playing it today on PC, and uh, if you choose to pick it up on PC, you can use the Humble Bundle link in the description, and uh, help out Mal myself with your purchase, which we'd appreciate. Um, otherwise, thanks again to the publisher for sending over a copy. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this is a really high quality licensed game. It just is. And there's plenty, there's plenty of games that aren't. <laughs> but this one feels very, very true to the source material. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you next week for more Stephen Plays First 20.